This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Matt Humrickhaus from St. Charles and St. Luke Parishes in Boardman. I'm Barb Zorn from St. Columba Cathedral and Holy Family Parish in Poland. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Trevor Hall. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do. To do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we, adore you, we glorify you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, Only Begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God Son of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O oh Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves them. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet, no, yet, not, one of a, yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. 
This weekend's first reading is from the prophet Jeremiah, who in my opinion is one of the more fascinating prophets in the Old Testament. This particular passage comes from a part of the chapter that has since been titled Jeremiah's Interior Crisis. It describes what's going on in his heart. Jeremiah was commissioned by God as a prophet to warn the people of Israel that if they did not turn away from their idolatry and back to God, they would be conquered by Babylon and taken into captivity for 70 years. This was obviously not a popular message, so he was persecuted. He says they, they watch for his missteps, they denounce him, they try to trick him. But all this does not make him lose his faith. He says, but the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. Then he goes on praising the Lord. In the Gospel, Jesus is filling his apostles with that same spirit of courage in the face of oppression that Jeremiah was filled with. He says, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor a secret that will not be known. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Do not be afraid. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father. The Gospel message that we are charged with bringing to the world was and is always countercultural. In the first chapter of St. Paul's letter to the Romans, there is a verse that I come back to often in my own mind. He writes, although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal human beings. In other words, we as fallen humanity have the propensity to focus our worship on things other than that one true God. This happens in all sorts of different ways. In ancient Israel, that looked like worshiping the Babylonian idols, as one example. And today, we are not necessarily sacrificing goats to wooden statues of Baal, but perhaps we neglect our family and other obligations for the sake of more money in the bank. Maybe we lie to get our head, or maybe we cheat or steal to gain some advantage over others. What is asked of us is not difficult. The yoke is easy and the burden is light. Some of the things are more challenging than others, but in the end, exercising our Christian faith authentically is not the hardest thing that we do in our lives. For example, we should have a working knowledge of Scripture. That takes some time to read and to study, but. It's ultimately a lifetime process. We should have a well-formed conscience, and this is done through prayer and discernment. We should strive to recognize vice and exercise virtue. Ultimately, our lives should be a reflection of the light of Christ, ideally to the point that complete strangers can recognize it even with some limited interaction. Do we carry that fearlessness and that joy and that hope with us everywhere that we go? Do we trust that our persecutors will stumble, that they will not triumph? In their failure, they will be put to utter shame and lasting under unforgettable confusion. Do we know our limitless value in God's eyes, and do we act like we know it? This week, I ask that we all take some quiet time and examine our faith lives, 
and choose an area that can be improved. It does not have to be a big area, but just pick some aspect of life that does not fit within God's plan and make today the day to change that habit or mindset. Every little change that we make for the better benefits the body of Christ, the church, here on earth. So together, let's go out and change the world. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and earth of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let us together offer our prayers to the Lord. For the church that we may have the courage to speak the truth in the light and to proclaim our faith from the housetops. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That farmers and all who depend on a good harvest may be blessed with good weather and a bountiful growing season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For missionaries who have decided and dedicated their lives to spreading the gospel and building up the kingdom of God, that they may be blessed in their work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer from mental illness and those who care for them, that they may find the comfort and healing they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, we ask that you hear these prayers and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our o Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Jesus, lead the way through our life's long day. When the times the way is cheerless, help us follow calm and fearless. Guide us by your hand to the promised land. Jesus, be your